we at the Freescale Technology Forum 2011. So what is this? This is part of our sensor toolbox. What we're showing today is an example of sensor fusion through Freescale. It has our three-axis magnetometer and three-axis accelerometer showing an e-compass solution. Uh, e-compass solutions are, are of huge interest right now in the market because they play an enabling part of location-based services where you need uh, some kind of backup beyond uh, GPS uh, signals to understand not only where are you going and how fast you're going, but where are you heading. And with this type of solution, we are actually doing the sensor fusion on, on the board here where we can demonstrate how the accelerometer can help calibrate and compensate for the magnetic reading. Um, the accelerometer and magnetometer uh, data, you can see this is the raw data right here. Um, the magnetometer uh, is, is looking at Earth's magnetic field. And as you know, that is not ex actually a vertical or a horizontal vector. It actually goes at an angle. So we need to to correct for that angle. Also, we know that uh, any type of device that you're going to be having is not going to be laying flat. So we need to compensate for, for the tilt and the utilization of, of a product. And so the accelerometer will detect where, how you're tilted for the magnetometer to be uh, corrected. And, and that's what you see here. You'll see uh, the corrected values here for the magnetic field. Uh, also, it's not trivial with the, the things that you have to correct for when you put a magnetometer in your system. Um, there's other materials on there that actually generate a magnetic field that you need to identify and correct for. And that's what we call hard iron distortions. So immediately with this de development tool and the calibration software that we offer, it will immediately detect that hard iron distortion and correct for it with, uh, with three different variables that you see there. There's also devices that will uh, generate a magnetic field uh, when a magnetic field is, is uh, simulating it. So then with that, you need to identify that as well. And that's what we call soft iron distortion. And that can only, that will change depending on your orientation. So we also correct for that with a, a nine uh, order matrices right here. Uh, we take uh, up to 24 readings as you tilt the device to identify when it is in calibration. Uh, it, once it goes out of calibration, like when you put it close to a laptop, you'll see it notifies this. Now in your end software, um, we have the, the solution that you can implement to correct all this, but this shows you really what's happening in the background of this type of uh, software in the sensor fusion. So last year at the FTF, Freescale launched uh, the fusion uh, platform, right? Yes, our smart sensing platform, our MMA9550. So is this a new version or what is going on right now? Is it just a new s software for it or what is this it? This is a combination of things. Uh, one, we announced our first magnetic sensor, the MAG3110, in January of this year. So this is utilizing that device. Uh, also, we have a uh, implemented calibration software, we've enhanced that. We'll have one of the leading edge calibration software for customers that can identify, uh, have more variation to identify better um, soft iron correction. Um, and then uh, thirdly, it can be then enabled by our MMA 9550. We have a demo that all this, instead of being done on the PC, is actually done on the MMA 9550 uh, for customers that would like the full sensor fusion, would like to have a sensor hub having all that. So how big is the uh, solution here? Is that just a little... It is here, the 2x2 two two millimeter uh, micro DFN package. That is the MAG3110. Next to it here is our 3-axis accelerometer and the 3x3 three three millimeter package. So this stuff, you put it in smartphones, tablets, whatever, where does yes. it go? Uh, it can go anywhere, but uh, some of the, the major uh, interest is putting that into your smartphone. So you'll see a lot of products that will have, if they don't have it already, the, the magnetometer solution for e-compass coverage. Some have it, might maybe. Some have it now, and uh, with this device you'll have higher resolution and more accuracy. All right. Thank